Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica here to do the mid-December love reading for the sign of Pisces. This will be for Pisces sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. And obviously being a general reading, this will not resonate for everybody. So please do go check out the other signs that make up your natal chart as often they can resonate even more than your sun sign. And this will also be if you have a lot of Pisces in your chart or if you just have a lot of water in your chart, these messages may resonate. So uh, we're going to take a look at the dynamic between you and the person you're watching this video for. And I'll be cross watchers if I'm speaking to Pisces and it sounds like I'm speaking to you, by all means, flip it around. Always take it as it resonates. And if it doesn't feel like I'm speaking to you, it just means I'm not tuning into your scenario. And that's why I encourage people to go watch the other videos that make up their natal chart. And we're going to look at the last half of the last month of this decade heading into 2020. So if you haven't seen my 2020 series, I've created a playlist on this channel that is um, really chock full of information. In fact, I just posted another video to that series yesterday because 2020 really is a big deal. And that's the simplest way to put it. And understanding the energies and how the, it's going to be affecting the collective consciousness and where we are literally as humanity and what's playing out on the world stage is very important for you to be able to navigate this time with grace and ease. So I highly recommend watching that series if you haven't seen it. And um, with that, I'm going to start by pulling a card for your overall energy regarding you and this person, Pisces. Where is your energy? And we're getting the energy of abundance. Beautiful. Now we're going to pull a card for their energy. And connection. Check that out. Woo! Very nice. And let's get a card for the dynamic between you. And we're getting the distorted masculine. I love it. It's amazing how much distorted masculine, distorted feminine, divine masculine, and divine feminine energies have come into these readings. And, you know, there's a lot of cards in here. So um, what's happening here is there is a breaking free of distorted masculine energy in the in the dynamic between you this person you over here are ready to experience abundance you're feeling like you can ex enjoy the fruits of your labor and this person is very focused on making the effort for an emotional connection with you um, an intimate connection with you romance candlelight champagne on a beach in hawaii like they're ready for all of that and um, so let's see how this is actually playing out here um, in more detail. First, your overall energy is the Six of Swords. Perfect. And let's see what their overall energy is. They're getting the Six of Wands. Check that out. Two Sixes. So it feels like this person over here, um, your person here is ready to make some sort of an approach um, to really romance you. And in the dynamic between you, we're getting the temperance card with the two of swords. So it's been at a, likely been at a bit of a stalemate here in the situation leading up to this point, but it's been because there's been the integration of new energies. There has been some sort of crossroads energy where things have been sort of stuck and stagnant but it's been necessary to transform the dynamic between you so let's get two more for you here pisces and you're getting the prince of cups along with the empress so beautiful and for this person with the six of wands is the ten of swords and the seven of pentacles. The waiting is over. Divine timing has allowed this person to complete and put the past in the past to be ready for this approach. Tell me more about the dynamic between them with this temperance card. We're getting the three of cups along with the princess of swords. So what I'm feeling from the situation, and this could be happening now or or was happening in the past for you 
but there in the dynamic there was the need to to move through distorted masculine energy to clear the imprint of that energy to break free of what that energy has done in the dynamic between you where it caused things to be stuck at a place where it was things weren't really moving because somebody was really um kind of keeping their distance here possibly because of outside influences maybe there was another um, party involved in a situation but at the end of the day that's what and, and that could still be what's breaking free now but it does look like you know your person is ready to move this forward or this could be you obviously pisces but the waiting is over the waiting is over there's going to be some sort of an approach they're getting two sixes here so um in fact and the empress being over here you know you could be more divine feminine energy and this person could be more divine masculine energy waiting for the right timing but at the end of the day the celebration energy is here in the now tell me about the three of cups and the wheels see things are things are it's the end of a cycle and things are moving forward in a very positive direction after a period of stagnation it feels like and tell me about this princess of swords the eight of swords so yeah somebody was feeling trapped and stuck because something was like at a distance didn't know how to communicate somebody didn't know how to communicate in the situation which is what made this stuck so let's see what you are consciously thinking about your other your person here pisces and we've got the King of Cups. So you know that this person has a lot of love for you and you have a lot of love for them. You may not quite be showing them how much you feel very deeply for them and they may not be doing the same to you. Let's see what you're feeling in your heart space. The Eight of Wands. So you, it's like, there's a lot of passion here and there's a lot of emotions that are running in, but this is also a card of communication and messages back and forth. Let's see where they are. Uh, let's see actually more about the eight of wands in your heart space. You're wanting communication because you've been, you know, persevering. You've been kind of standing your ground. Again, it's two wands. We're getting 17 wands here in just these two cards. So that's a lot of passion. And it's like you've been very vehemently standing your ground about this situation, it feels like. And it is the progression from the eight to the nine. So that is movement with cards that do represent movement. So it's like double movement here. So let's see for your person, what are they consciously thinking about you? The two of pentacles. So they may still be deciding or having been in indecision mode, but that's coming to an end. Let's actually get one for their heart space, what they're feeling. They do have sadness around the past, though. That could be what's causing this, this juggling indecision energy. Let me get some more here. Tell me why the Two of Pentacles is here, the Queen of Pentacles. Because this person wants to make it real with you, Pisces, and um, they see you as very solid, very abundant, and it's almost like you don't need them. They may be worried that you don't need them. And why is the Five of Cups here? The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they've been doing their work to try to, uh, on themselves. They've been very focused. Um, some of them may have, be, have sadness because they were too focused on work in the past and not really focusing on the relationship very much, which is distorted masculine energy. It's like, I have to achieve, I have to win, I have to be competitive, I have to be number one at the expense of connection. So this person could have some sadness and regrets about possibly, you know, not giving you what you have deserved. And that's been the lesson here. In fact, I'm gonna pull another card on the temperance with the two of swords. The Ten of Pentacles, yeah. The family, the abundance is here, but there, it need this relationship and this dynamic needed to go through a period of having patience so that these lessons could integrate. But that's what called this caused the stalemate. And why? Let me let me see the Seven of Pentacles here. Oh, why is the Seven of Pentacles here? That card doesn't want to come out, so that's not it. 
and the ace of pentacles so yeah here it is the the start and the fool is at the bottom of the deck so this person is ready to bring an offer and ready for a new beginning with you they're ready to take a risk and open their heart to you pisces and tell me about this prince of cups this is the knight of cups you've been wanting this offer from this person and it looks like they're bringing it to you here that's why you're feeling abundant and there is definitely a lot of passion here for you and this person but it also feels like you might have really felt like this was an illusion and you're getting justice because i'm pulling the justice to clarify the devil so in the past there may have been some toxicity that was keeping this from happening and now you're finally getting justice if you've been really clear and again if this is a sacred masculine feminine soulmate twin flame possible um dynamic your patience has been your your empress energy has been paying off because this toxicity needed to be cleared before this could come together and just one card on the empress is the princess of wands so yeah this is all all about like wanting things there may be some news that comes in for you this month pisces that makes you feel extremely abundant all right well that is your reading pisces i highly recommend going to check out the other videos and until next time i send you much love bye